I don't know. There's just there's blood everywhere from the attack. Oh, it's nice after that spice last night. Oof, it got a little intense. We haven't had one of those storms in a while. All right, it's a big day. We got we got a wedding today. Babs, though, is just... Look at this meal. My goodness. You were just delivering today. And I already made salsa. And you made salsa already? <laughs> Babs makes her own version of salsa. So y'all have seen my salsa bear day, the green one. She makes a... This one, standard red chop salsa. So good, she doesn't need it either, which is funny. She makes salsa that she doesn't need. Another thing she does that way. So like I said, big day, wedding. Um, trying to finish up yesterday's vlog before we get out of here today. Get all the camera stuff ready. Stayed up late last night, watched the Dodger game, got the bookshelf put up. We're gonna figure out how we're gonna rearrange all this wall, kind of make it a little bit functional for us. So that's good. Um, watch the Dodger game in 4K, sweet. Yeah, so got that picked up and then I've got a lens, rented a lens from Borrow Lenses. They're a fantastic um, operation. If you're in a video or photo or anything like that, and there's always something you've wanted to try or use out or see if you like it, uh, rent a lens, rent a camera body, rent a mic, rent a slider, rent whatever you want, a gimbal. It's a really cool way to try out the product before buying it because a lot of times you never know if a lens is gonna work. There's been multiple times where I've rented a lens and it has not worked on, like say the full frame camera. Uh, you have something that goes like a super wide angle, you're gonna get vignetting all around it, it's not gonna work like you think it is, so it's it's an awesome opportunity to try out a product before you actually invest in the product, because lenses are expensive. Some of the lenses are like that I've, looked, that I've rented are like $1,500, and if I had purchased that lens at $1,500, now I'm kinda stuck with that. So it's a good thing I rented it, tried it out, realized that's not gonna work on the full frame, it's more for ASPC, camera so it's a good way to kind of navigate that and try that out so i've got a wide angle uh didn't want to go this wide they didn't have a 24 millimeter for me in stock they called me the day before and were like hey we don't have this so they sent me a 20 so maybe a little wide so we're going to try this out and see how it works the wedding today has a really cool ending with um lit balloons i think they're releasing uh so i want to make sure i have a wide angle lets in plenty of light uh, so we're gonna try that one out. So actually, I'm gonna switch that camera right now to that lens and we'll see what that one looks like. All right, so this is a 20. This is the lens that I rented. This is a 20 millimeter lens. You can see how much, this is pretty good. Wow, I like this. It's a wide lens. Hang on, Ooh, I'm gonna get a little bright out here. Turn this up a little bit. There we go. All right, so this is good. This is a good lens. <gasps> I am pleased with this. So you don't get any of the vignetting because it's not too wide. So vignetting means there's like black around this part. Right here, it starts to like sphere in. It gets black. Uh, this is really good. What a good lens. Ooh, see, this is why I rent. That's why I rent because then I find out if I fall in love with it. So when I'm doing a wide angle shot, uh, say for her balloons or something, I'm gonna get this whole thing in. Whereas my 35 would get a little bit closer. Normally as humans, I believe we see a 50 millimeter, so whatever a 50 millimeter lens is gonna show you. And really the millimeter on a lens is just how far the lens is away from the back of the camera uh, in kind of nerdy terms, I guess. So this is cool, I like this lens. We're gonna put this to work. All right, so vlog is almost done. I'm gonna upload that one, then uh, start packing for the wedding. And then, um, yeah, I guess we'll just catch up uh, when we're ready to leave. Alrighty, we are ready to go. We gotta head up to Huntsville. Uh, it's a little bit of a drive. I don't normally drive um, for these things, but she had reached out to me and, you know, made it very clear that, you know, she was a little ways away. So that'll be fun. Go up that way. We've never been up that way. It's kind of up towards Kentucky. 
Uh, so we're just gonna get a head start. Babs needs to stop really quick and then check out a new venue. I love checking out new venues because you always find cool new spots uh, for, for weddings and events and then it just leads to more referrals and recommendations for other people when people are looking for stuff so it's fun. I like fun. seeing new stuff. So. Alright, we got a lot of blankets back here for how hot it is out. This little venue's cute. Look at this place. That's cool. Obviously ceremony right here. Little lounging area. Barn is where the reception's at, I'm guessing. Pretty cool spot. Time to uh, get to work and put something together. <laughs> All right, good wedding. This is a cute wedding. Very nice. This is a very cool little. Uh, it's a cute little venue. Very cool. They they just built that barn. I think they're the first. Big wedding, she said. First big wedding since It COVID. got done right before Coven started. Yeah, that was a cool barn. Uh, it definitely gets a little warm with that metal roof and the air just kind of. Well, and it's hard because his doors don't. The doors don't stay shut and people are going opening. in and out. Yeah. But um, that was fun. That was good. Uh, adorable family. Uh, lots of good friends and, and family were here. Uh, good one. I think that'll come out good. Um, how are your feet? Feet better this time? My feet are good. Oh, more They're better just time. a little tired now. Just a little tired. I'm tired too. Been up on our feet for quite a while. Yeah. Alright, that's it. Um, yeah. Uh, what do we got planned tomorrow? Anything fun? Nothing, huh? Nothing. Maybe we'll go on the boat. Lazy day tomorrow, I think. Ooh. A boat. Not like we don't have to go super early, but... Yeah. We'll be good. Alright, that's it. Later, guys. I don't know, there's just there's blood everywhere from the attack. So we just got home. get home and I let let the dogs out to go to the bathroom. Coop's not locked up, so I come out here to lock it up. Morgan takes off in here. She never does, never goes after her chickens. Two raccoons in here, going right after the babies. Thankfully I scared one out, hit the other one with a broomstick and then I had to come out and shoot it. Those girls are okay. I'm missing two two of the little chicks though. Morgan got attacked by the raccoon. Her leg is completely tore up. I don't know what's wrong with her. Babs has got her, so I gotta go check on her now. She just got scratched. Nothing to worry about. Dude, she was full on battle with that thing. Good girl. Was she the raccoon? You did your job. You did good girl, huh? Blood all over the porch. How did I get it all over my... All right, so Morgan looks... Looks to be okay. Obviously, the scary thing is with the raccoon or something, rabies or something like that, but they were full on going at it. So I shot it, shot the one, didn't get the second one, the second one ran off. So definitely need to put traps back up around that thing. My kids need to learn how to lock chicken, get chickens up and have some responsibility in this house. How is that, huh? Did you save daddy's chickens? You saved those girls, huh? Look at that little bruise. I'm gonna get you fixed up, alright? Good girl. 